Good morning, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Quitniak. Today is Thursday, May 7th, 2020, and I am here to do some math with you. We are going to be continuing our lesson on time. What's different about today is, is that we are going to be telling time to every five minutes. So counting by fives today is going to be very, very important. So I'm just gonna move my camera a little bit so you can see my clock that I have on my dry erase board. Okay, and we're just gonna do a couple practices from yesterday. So I'm going to write the time 1030 digitally on my dry erase board. 10.30, the hour comes first, our two dots, and then the minutes come after. So now I need to draw this on my analog clock, okay? So the hour is always the shorthand, so where am I going to put my uh, shorthand? And it's 10.30, so think about that. Am I gonna have it directly on the 10? Nope, because 30 is halfway around. Remember, zero, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'm halfway around the clock. So my hour hand is gonna go halfway in between the 10 and 11. Now, where is my long minute hand gonna go? right down to the six because that's 30 minutes. That's half past 10. It's halfway between 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock. So my hour hand goes in the middle. Okay, I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna change my digital clock up here. And now I want it to say, oh, let's do two o'clock. So two is the hour, zero, zero. Two o'clock. Where is my hour hand going to go? Right, it's going to point directly at the two, my little short hour hand. Where is my long minute hand going to go? Right, right up by the 12, okay? Pointing right to the 12. Now let's go around the whole clock and count by fives. Are we ready? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 60, oh, I'm sorry, 50, 55, 60. There are 60 minutes in one whole hour. So when you get up to here, when you get up to 60 at the 12, it starts over again. We don't say that anything is 260 or it would turn into 360. If this was two o'clock and we went all the way around and counted all the way, all the 60 minutes, this would turn into three o'clock, okay? It would turn into three o'clock. This isn't 312, it's not 260, you say three o'clock. In time, it starts over at 60, okay? It's different from when we're counting and we get to 99 and then it turns into 100. On a clock, it goes 59 is right here and then 60 and then it starts all over again and becomes a new hour, okay? So I'm gonna turn the camera back over to me. I'm gonna show you the papers that you need for today. You will need 515. We're gonna be doing the back, 516. 517, 518, 519, and then the back 520, okay? 519 and 520 will be your homework, okay, that you can work on. So if you don't have those papers, go and grab them. We are going to get started. Okay, you're back. So I'm gonna just move this over again so I can put my papers up here on my dry erase board for you all to see them. And then remember, I said today that we're gonna be counting 
for every five minutes, okay? So it's gonna be different today. Our times on our clock are not gonna be landing on 30 minutes or on the o'clock. They're gonna be landing on each one of these five. So counting by fives is gonna be very important today. Okay, let me put up page, it's 516, so make sure you have that in front of you. Up here, they're just giving you the examples, um, and you can see they have the jumps, just like us, for every five minutes. This clock is pointing to, let me move this closer. This clock is pointing to 10 35, because when it went around and counted by fives, it landed on 35. So here they wrote it. 10 is the hour, that number comes first. The two dots, a colon, and then 35 for 35 minutes. Okay? So let's look down here on number one. Get ready to count by fives. We need to look, okay? So the, it says look at the clock hands and write the time. So it's just like yesterday. We had the analog clocks, and then we had to write it in digitally in the digital clock down here. So I'm just gonna see if I can even get this closer for you, because these are small hands on this clock. Okay, I'm looking at my hour hand, right? The hour hand is the short hand. That is the first one I have to look at because we always write the hour first. And if I draw my finger right on over, it's not pointing directly at any number. It's in between the three and the four. And if you remember from yesterday, I told you when it's in between the numbers, we're always gonna go with the number that is less. So in this case, between three and four, we're gonna go with three. So write a three in for our hour. hour. It's three something. Put your colon there. Now we have to figure out the minutes. So we're gonna go back up to the 12 and we're gonna go around and we're gonna count by fives. Where do you think we're going to stop? Right, on the number five, because that is where our minute hand, the longer hand, is pointing. So let's go around and count by fives, ready? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, right. So what is the time? Right, three, 25. All right, number two. Let's look at the hour hand, the little short hand. It's pointing, yep, pretty straight to the nine. So we know the hour is nine. Okay, the minute hand is pointing to the one. So how many jumps do you think we're gonna make? If we're starting at the 12, how many jumps? Right, one. And one jump, each jump is how many minutes? Five. Now, this time is 9.05, okay? We just can't write 9.5. We have to write nine, a zero, and a five. But if I was telling somebody this time, I wouldn't say, oh, it's 9.05. It is a zero, but we say it's 9.05. Or you can say it's five minutes past nine. It's kind of a fancy way to say it. You can say it either way. 9.05 or five after nine. All right, number three. Let's go, the hour hand. If I run my finger straight up, it's not pointing to the exactly on the 11 or the 12, but I know I'm gonna write the number that comes before it. So it is the 11, okay? And then let's go to the minute hand. It's pointing to the eight. Okay, how are we gonna figure that out? Right, we're gonna start up at the top and go right around. And remember, we always go in this direction, around this way. This way, it's called clockwise. If you've ever heard anyone say that, this is why, because you're gonna follow the direction in the way the clock hands go. It's called clockwise. So. Let's go up here to the 12, and let's count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So the time is 11, 40. Nice job, everyone. 
Okay, I'm gonna move this paper up and let's go down to number four. Okay, let's try it. Do the hour hand first, that's the little short one. Okay, let's see. Oop, it's almost to the one, but not quite. So we have to write the number that comes before it, okay? If I was gonna follow my finger up this way, what number is before it? It's 12. So it's 12 something, hmm. All right, let's go around and count, ready? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. We're landing and stopping here because that's where our minute hand is. It's 12.50. 12.50 is very close to one o'clock. It's only 10 minutes away from one o'clock. So that's why this hour hand was very, very close to the one, but not quite. It's almost there. All right, let's try number five. The hour hand is pointing to the seven. Good job. Okay. Let's see, the long minute hand is right on that three. We're gonna go around and make three jumps. Five, 10, 15. It is seven, 15. Okay, number six. Okay, now let's take a look here. If we look at the hour hand, it is very, very close to the six, very close, but not quite, okay? It looks like it's almost pointing right at it. If I follow my finger right down, it's almost, but not quite. So we gotta go with the number that comes before it, which is five. Then if I look at my minute hand and I follow it straight up, what number is it pointing at? The 11, right? But it's not 511. We gotta go around and count. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. So it is five, right, 55. and. 5.55 is super, super, super close to six o'clock. So that's why this hour hand looked like it was touching the six because it's so close. It's almost there, but not quite. It's 5.55. Okay, and don't forget, boys and girls, that you can stop this video. You can rewind it, pause it whenever you want. I'm gonna flip papers. I'm gonna go on to page 517 right now. Okay, 517, we're doing the same thing. We're gonna look at our hour hand first, the little line. It's in between the six and the seven. It's not touching either of them, but we know we have to go with the number that comes before it, which is six. Okay, now we're gonna go around. What do you think this time is gonna be? What do you think? Let's check. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, ding, 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 40, that's it. And we're stopping where the minute hand is pointing. That's how we know to stop, okay? Let's go and try number eight. Okay, number eight. Number eight, let's see, the hour hand. If I go do, 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 okay. It's not touching the nine or the 10, but I know I'm gonna go with the number before it. That's our hour, nine. Put my two dots. Let's go around and see what the minute hand is pointing to. I know it's not nine, four. Let's see, five, 10, 15, 20. Good job. Everyone should have 920 written in there. Okay, on to the next one. Oh, this looks like one that we had yesterday. Who thinks they might know? We practice these a lot. 
the hour hand is halfway between the four and the five. It's not at the five yet, it's halfway. So we know we have to write four, the number that comes before where it's pointing, and we know that halfway between an hour is 30 minutes. There's 60 minutes in a whole hour, and 30 is half of 60, remember? So that's why it's halfway. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, let's go down to number 10. Let's see. The hour hand is pointing, well, not really on the two or the three yet, but I do know that it's gonna be two. I gotta go with the number that comes before. So two, put my two dots here. My minute hand is pointing to the nine. Let's go around and figure out how many minutes that is. And remember, we stop where the minute hand is pointing. Ready? Five, 10. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So this time is 245. All right, number 11. Number 11, our, our hand is pointing to, right, the 10. It's almost right on the 10, so we know it's 10. Now let's figure out what the minute hand is telling us. Okay, it's pointing to the two, so two jumps, Five, ten. It's ten, ten. And it's almost pointing to the ten because ten, ten is still pretty close to ten o'clock. That's only a little bit past ten. So that's why this hour hand looks like it's still kind of pointing right at the ten. Okay, let's go to number twelve. Number twelve, let's see. Our hour hand. It's kind of right in between the eight and the nine, and we know that we have to go with the number that is less or the number that comes before it. So we are going to write eight, our two dots, and it's pointing at the seven. So let's go around and count by fives. Let's see how many minutes we have. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. The time is eight, 35. Okay, just like yesterday, they are giving us the time on the digital clock down here on number 13. We have to put it in on the analog clock. Okay, it says use models, look at the time. Draw the minute hand to show the same time. So they're giving us the hour. This digital clock says 7.25, right? So they're giving us the hour. We know that it's still seven, okay? It's just a little bit past the seven, so we know that the hour is still seven because we're gonna go with the number that comes before it. Now we have to do 25. So where do you think our minute hand is gonna have to stop? We're counting by fives. We gotta start up at the 12, up at the top. Let's go around and find out. And remember, we're stopping at 25. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. So where did we have to stop? Right at the five. So that's where we're gonna put our minute hand. Good job. Okay, number 14, they're giving us the hour. Here's our little hour hand. It's one something. It's 150, right? But we gotta figure out where we're gonna put that minute hand. So let's go around. We're gonna count by fives, and when are we gonna stop? What number are we gonna stop counting by fives at? Right, at 50. So let's see where our minute hand will land. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50 at the 10. Okay, that's where our minute hand is stopping, at the 10. Now it says 150 on our analog clock. Okay, number 15. The hour is pointing to five o'clock, right? That's the hour, five, so the little hand points there. 
where do you think our minute hand is going to land? You go ahead and fill that in on your own. Remember, you're starting up at the top and you're gonna count by fives and you're stopping when you get to five. So where do you think it's going to land or stop? Right on the one, one jump, five. So there is our minute hand. Everyone should have the minute hand pointing to the one. All right, good job, everyone. I'm gonna flip our paper over. Now, on the back, we do have, can everyone see that? Okay. It says, draw the clock hands to show the time, then write the time. So we're gonna show it on the analog clock. We're gonna write it on the digital clock. Okay. All right. My hour hand points between the eight and the nine. Hmm. In, in 35 minutes, it will be the next hour. What time is it? Hmm. Okay, so first I'm gonna do what they tell me to, the first thing, which is my hour hand points between the eight and the nine. So I'm gonna take my little hour hand and have it in between the eight and the nine, okay? It's not exactly pointing at either one, it has to be in between. Between kind of means like in the middle, okay? In 35 minutes, it will be the next hour. Hmm, so I know that my hour has to be eight because I have to go with the number that is less or comes before the hour hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and write eight in on my digital clock. Now, I know that when I'm at the six, that's 30 minutes, right? And if I am down here at 30 minutes and I go all the way around again, that's another 30 minutes. So if we start here and count by fives, I should be at 30 when I get up to the 12. Let's make sure. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. But it says in 35 minutes, it will be the next hour. So where do you think this minute hand is going to have to go in order for it to be 35 minutes before the next hour. This is 30, I need to get five more minutes. So I'm actually gonna come over here because remember, each jump is five minutes. So if I start over here on my five and do my jumps, let's see if I get up to 35 when I get to the 12, ready? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So if my minute hand is pointing to the five, that's 35 minutes before the hour. But I need to figure how many minutes it is here on the five. So that's when I'm gonna go up to my 12 and go around and stop when I get to the five because my minute hand is now pointing to that five. Okay, five, 10, 15, 20, 25. So the time is what? Eight, 25. Eight, 25 is 35 minutes before nine o'clock, which would be the next hour. That was a little bit of a tricky one, okay? All right, good job. Let's go down to number 17. It says, Mr. Brady fixes broken computers. Look at the start and finish times for his work on one computer. How many minutes did he work on the computer? So the start and the finish, okay? So let's go look at the, they have this clock labeled the start time. What time is it on this clock? 
Look at where the hour hand is pointing. Look where the minute hand is pointing. Right, four o'clock. So that is when he started. So go ahead and write that. Now let's go look at his finish time. Let's look at this clock. This, is, this clock is telling us what time he finished. Okay, so what time did he finish? Right, five o'clock. Now, to figure out how many minutes went by between when he started and when he finished, we're gonna go around and count by fives and we're gonna go around the whole way, okay? Because if we go around the whole way, that is one hour. And from four o'clock to five o'clock is one whole hour. So we need to figure out how many minutes are in an hour. I said it earlier in the lesson. So let's see who remembers, ready? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, there we go, 60. So how many minutes did he work on the computer? Right, 60 minutes, because 60 minutes are in one whole hour. So from four o'clock to five o'clock, 60 minutes went by. Okay, let's jump down to number 18. Let me move this up a little bit. Okay, it says Angel eats lunch at 1245. Angel spent 10 minutes eating lunch. Draw the minute hand on the clock to show when Angel finished eating. Write the time. Okay, she started eating lunch. She eats lunch at 1245, okay? Angel spent 10 minutes eating lunch. 10 minutes eating lunch. Okay, we have to draw the minute hand on the clock to show when Angel finished eating lunch, okay? So first, let's figure out where the 45 is. Ready? So here's 45. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. This is when she started eating lunch. Okay? But that's not what they want us to know. Okay? That's what that's not what they want us to figure out. They want us to figure out when she finished eating lunch. Okay? So here's when she started at 1245. Now we have to do 10 more minutes. And remember, each jump is five minutes. So how many more jumps do I have to do for 10 minutes? Right, two. So here's where she started, five, 10. So this is where we're gonna put our minute hand. So it was 45, 50, 55. So she finished lunch at 12.55. We went around the clock and figured out where 45 was because that's when she started eating. But we had to show when she finished. So here's 45 and we know that she was she spent 10 minutes eating. So we had to do two jumps. Each one is five minutes, five, 10, okay? And if you add 10 to 45, you get 55, 12, 55. Okay, boys and girls, that was the last question for this math lesson. So don't forget that you are going to continue practicing on page 519 and page 520. Okay, don't forget, count by fives. You start up at that 12, right? You start up at the 12 and you go all the way around and you stop where the minute hand is, okay? All right, boys and girls, I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.